Welcome to today's video, where I would like to introduce you to another potential use case for ChatGPT in project management. Now I have been exploring the tool, trying various different prompts to essentially automate some of my tasks and to improve my workflow, with the main goal really of saving time and also generating new ideas. And today I'd like to introduce you to one of my latest discoveries, and it's all about collecting lessons learned from your projects. So this will come at the end of your projects. You may uh, be implementing this process uh, already, or it may be something that you are yet to do and you want to introduce as a new process. Well, either way, ChatGPT can help us uh, to ensure that we collect the right kind of information and can use that to benefit our future projects. So what I'm gonna be showing you is some example prompts that you can put into the system um, and kind of build out from there. So the first thing uh, I, I'd like to suggest that you try, uh, and I am gonna be using ChatGPT4, that model, that gives me better reasoning and conciseness. Do consider that at the moment and at time of recording, this is a paid uh, feature, so you need a, uh, a premium plan to do this. So if you don't have that, then you can use the default model. You might not get the same results as I do, but I just wanted to caveat the video with this. Um, but if you are yet to have uh, or set up a, a chat GPT account, then I'll drop a link in the description below for you, you to head over there and to do that. All you need to do is enter an email and a password, and then you can access this all uh, free of charge if you wanted. As I say, if you want that increased functionality, you can pay, I think it's $20 a month, and you'll see that here in the center. So just thought I'd caveat that. But onto the actual prompts itself, and if you're yet, yet to use chat GPT, the output is only as good as the input. Or in other words, the prompts, so the messages you put in, essentially define what you get back. So I'm gonna give you some example prompts. These are just starting points. You can refine these in time. You can create your own prompts, and I'm sure there are better prompts out there than the ones I'm gonna be using. So this is, this is to give you ideas use this as you see fit and kind of expand from there. But here's a good prompt for lessons learned. So um, create a lessons learned template. Very, very simple. We're going to build from this and I'll be showing you that as we go along. One of the benefits of uh, chat GPT is you can give it an initial prompt and then refine it with future prompt prompts, I should say. So I've put create a lessons learned template. So what it's done here is it's given us a, a primer to what the lessons learned template is all about and why it's useful. I'm sure you know that already, but that's not really why we are, are building this template. As you can see, it, it's kind of generating in real time, but it's actually giving us a, as, as I've asked it to, a template with different sections. And this is absolutely brilliant because as you can see, it's got some pre-formatting in and it's actually got these kind of lines. So it's got this kind of divide uh, sections, uh, section divides in there, which to be honest, having created lots of lessons learned templates uh, manually, this is actually what I tend to do. So first and foremost, I really like what it's doing here. And another benefit is it's actually given us some, some pr um, pointers as to what to kind of include in each section. Um, so we've got the, at the top, we can enter the project or event or activity name, we can put the date, the team members involved, and a description of that project. So it's got a high level summary at the top. It gives us um, an area to put the objective of the project, to list the successes, to list the challenges, and then here obviously is the main component of this template, lessons learned. So outline the key lessons learned from the project, uh, including insights gained, best practices, and areas of improvement. So. Description, impact, recommendation. So this is really, really useful. Next steps, additional notes and comments, attachments, who it's prepared by and the date. So really, really useful. This is of a very, very basic uh, prompt, which we can refine further. So as an example, if we did want to refine it, we could say, um, you can be polite if you want, so you can put please, or you can just put recreate. I am always polite for some reason. I don't know why, I just feel like I need to be nice to this tool. Please recreate the lessons learned template. Instead, include a section on, actually, this is probably not the best use case. What I could say there instead, sorry, is please add a section on project risks. Because I sometimes see that in lessons learned um, uh, templates. 
So look, it's, it's pretty much said, adding a section on project risk and template, project risks, and then it's, it's doing what I'm asking it to. So what I'm basically saying here and suggesting that you do, it's build what you ever, whatever you need. So in this instance, a lessons learned template and then add prompts to improve it. So that is one potential use case for ChatGPT in building this out. This, I'm gonna stop, gen actually no, let's, let's give it a chance to finish just to see what it does. Um, it also, what I like about this is in terms of risks specifically, is it saying as how they are, were managed or, or mitigated include any unforeseen risks that arose and their impact. So what this, in terms of lessons learned, this can be really, really valuable because it can help us to prevent risks or probably shouldn't say prevent, to be aware of potential risks that could arise on future projects. So this is really, really good information to include. Um, but of course I've drawn from my project management um, knowledge here and this wasn't included by default. So again, this is where ChatGPT is only as good as the um, prompts that you put in. You do need to kind of think about it and think about, um, project management and methodology. You may even want to go onto Google and get, you know, run some searches, what to include in a lessons learned template, get those sections and then input it in. So that's a second suggestion and, and prompt. Please, what you could do is you could say something like, please create a lessons learned log with the following section. So here we're being a lot more specific. And then if you use quotation marks, um, that way you can kind of tell ChatGPT, I'm really looking for this, please build this it can save time. So as an example, let's, I'm literally gonna, gonna leverage what's already been provided to us. Project objective, successes. So you could have done this ahead of time. Um, and you may even have, you know, uh, some, some particular uh, elements of a, a lessons learned template you want to include. So that's, that's how you would do this essentially. If you've got something in mind or want to include particular sections. So again, this is where we could have put the risks risks identified or something like that. And then you would simply plug it in. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna build it out based on what you've specified. So this is how to refine um, a, an initial prompt. Again, I'm gonna stop that because, you know, just for the, for the purpose of time, you could do that in a new chat as well if you wanted to. Uh, probably would be better because it's not gonna build on what it's kind of provided you previously. So that's another, you know, potential, potential prompt you could put in there. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to show you now is you can, what, what, well, what I would do from here is I would simply take this and put this in another template. So you could create a word doc. You could put all of your kind of, uh, organizations, um, branding, perhaps you've even got kind of a library where they exist already, and you could just simply go ahead and copy and paste it in. So you'd literally just scroll down with your mouse, left click, drag, right click, copy, and then you could, um, right click copy and paste or use you know control v on your keyboard and you could get this into a document ready to be sent out to your stakeholders so that's the kind of way i'm using lessons learned in chat gpt i'm sure there are plenty more ways but if you do like this video please hit the like button that tells me i should continue recording videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel talking of my channel if you head over there i've got various different playlists one on using ChatGPT and project management specifically, and I've got various other templates and, and things that we can use ChatGPT for in project management. But if you want to get an idea of different project management methodologies, uh, processes, tasks, then there are playlists for that as well, as long as training on different project management tools, you know, or building templates. So do check those out too. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.